Okay, I think this is good. This is a good angle. I'm sitting on the floor again. Hey guys, it's Jess, and welcome back to another video. Or if you're new here, hi, hello. I am so glad that you decided to click on this video. So in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I am going to compare the iPhone 12 Pro Max to the iPhone XS Max. And I'm pretty sure you guys can already tell by the difference that the size comparison between these two, yeah, they're pretty big. Or they're, they're pretty big. It's kind of a big difference in a way. I don't know, but for me, yeah. Also, if you guys want to follow me on my other social medias, it will be in the description box down below. Come find me, come say hey. If you have any questions, come ask me. I will try to reply to you guys. Or if you guys comment down below, more than likely, I will try to get to your comment if I can. If not, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Um, If you guys hear noises in the background, it's Giselle. She's on her Zoom meeting with her teacher. But I have a mic for this, but then there's like a buzzing sound. I don't know why there's a buzzing sound, but I tried to like, I'm plug it and plug it again and I, I don't know what's going on. As you guys can already tell that this iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone XS, I think this is a 6.7 and this is a 6.5, I'm pretty sure. But obviously the buttons on the two are like the same. There's the volume up and volume down and then the mute and then here's the lock buttons. But this is the old Apple case for his XS and this is a leather one. The leather case doesn't come all the way around and with this one, it comes all the way down here and it's pretty thin. I really like this one. This is the new silicone case and the sil old silicone case didn't have like the covering for this, but now it does and I love this so much. Personally, I don't remember a lot about having the excess because it's been like two years, but I'm going to try to give you guys the best review I can. So let's get started. Okay, where is this? Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys some pictures. So last night, here's the iPhone XS and here's the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Here's the difference between, like this was taken at night. Here's another photo that was taken by the water. Here's a video between the two. So this is the back camera on the iPhone XS Max. Still pretty good, not too bad. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Look at that. It's beautiful. Obviously the 12 Pro has HDR as well. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain this, that in the iPhone XS, there's only the telephoto and the wide lens. I think that's what it's called. And then obviously on this, I don't know where they are. I forgot where they are but there's the ultra wide, the wide, and there is also the telephoto lens. And there's a LiDAR. This one is obviously the LiDAR and you guys can tell the difference between the cameras. I, f I wanted to show you guys without the case. So here's the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is the Pacific Blue. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, it's right here. And here is the iPhone XS Max. It's very glossy. You can see the reflection off of this, but you can't see the reflection on here except for like in the Apple logo. And so here's the difference. This is the frosted back and this is a glossy back. And then here's the sides, which obviously this is rounded and the 12 generations all have this squared out look, which I heard it reminds people of the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 5. And I didn't have those phones because I was like into Samsung at one point. Here's the front and here's the front for this one. There's no screen protector yet. So we went to like this place like right behind my house and there was nothing really pretty about it but I just wanted to take a picture side by side photo just to show you guys. Here's a picture of the two. I think this is with the telephoto on both of them. And obviously there's no ultra wide in the XS Max. And this is with the ultra wide angle on this one. I'm doing the ultra wide and the wide and then the telephoto on this one. And then I'm doing the wide and the telephoto on this one. Just to show the difference. I tried taking a video. Okay, so this is the iPhone XS Max. And this is the regular wide angle. And here's the telephoto, zoomed in. And this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this is the wide angle, ultra wide, and the telephoto. We can zoom in a lot more. 
I don't know what to look at. There's really nothing here. Here's the ultra wide. So we went by like the mountain area and it was kind of pitch dark. I mean, there was a little bit of light, but uh, because we live in the city, so there will be a little bit of light. But here's the one with night mode on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And then there's no night mode, obviously, on the iPhone XS Max. I didn't even use the light. Oh my gosh, I just realized that. I didn't use the flash on the front facing camera on the XS. I don't even know there, if there is a flash or not, honestly. But here are some photos on the iPhone 12 Pro. And it looks like that there's just a light outside, but that's just night mode. And then here's a front facing one. Okay, so this is the front facing camera on the iPhone XS Max. Obviously, the front is cracked so the camera is like broken and the screen is broken too and for those of you saying that this phone isn't broken the camera is very broken and very blurry here's the 12 pro max and nothing's broken on here so it's pretty clear and there's hdr as well very pretty this is the selfie video front facing camera on the iphone 12 pro also i'm sorry for the blurriness it's because i have hdr on the iphone 12 pro and the iphone 12 pro max which supports dolby vision which will come out later and i don't know how to adjust the blur on my final cut pro here let me show you guys a screen recording of the two sorry that my room is a mess okay so this is the regular and then this is the telephoto and obviously the iPhone XS doesn't have any other option and here's the ultra wide and you can see my entire room oh my gosh um and then here's video and then slow-mo and then here is I, my hair keeps getting in my mouth okay so here's time lapse. Okay, so here's portrait. Oh wow, it really so in portrait mode in the iPhone 12 Pro it blurs out the background, whereas the portrait mode in the XS it says move further away. Okay, so this one still says move further away on the XS Max, but the other one, I, whatever, what is this? Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, here's the options. Wow, okay. Sorry if it's a little shaky, it's because I'm trying to hold both phones with my hands and they're way too big for my hands. Both of them are way too big for my hands. Here's the phones, again, here's the comparison. Okay, so I also wanted to add that in the front facing camera on the 12 Pro, it also can zoom in and on the iPhone XS Max, it cannot zoom in. So like if I tilt it like sideways like I am right now, it will zoom in if I was on like photo and then on the XS Max, doesn't do that. Oh, the Apple logo. Do you see the Apple logo? It's moved too. This is higher up and this one's like right in the middle. There's the camera. The cameras are obviously different, but there is a huge crack. You guys probably tell, oh, it zoomed in there. It's not even just on the screen protector. If I ripped out the screen protector, I'm pretty sure glass would come off. Um, They both have face ID. This one, I noticed that you can have your face all the way over here and like it'll detect your face, but this one, you have to have your face closer. They obviously have the stainless steel sides and this one has three cameras, this one has two cameras and along with the LiDAR. So the 12 generations all have MagSafe, this one doesn't. It only charges wirelessly but it still works pretty good and the bottom still says iPhone and this one doesn't say iPhone on the bottom. These are both Apple cases so you can't really see the logo on here. Maybe you can. I mean I also think that it's kind of rubbed off since Kevin's had it for a while and here's the Apple logo and here obviously has the MagSafe right there 
and then it says iPhone and then here's the inside of this one. I know that some of you asked some questions on my videos so I'm going to answer a few of them. Someone said that it looks like the midnight green. Um, I think this is just more of a blue tint. Personally don't know because I never really had it. I mean I've seen it in person like once or twice but I didn't get the chance to like review it or anything so I don't know how the sides were. And then some of you asked what am I doing with the other one. I can't really control what Kevin does with his old phone because what he was telling me is that he's gonna keep it or like give it to his dad. And we'll see what his dad says because we would have to get the screen fixed for him. So he might just give this phone to his dad. And then with my old phone, what Verizon does, if you pay off your phone halfway, you're eligible to trade in your old device for a new device and then your payments start back all over again basically but that's what I usually do every year it's nice to have the new things but like I don't know for me I just like unboxing it and like doing the video for you guys and it's really fun obviously I'm not sponsored by Apple or anything so obviously this is out of our own pockets oh another thing that I forgot to mention in this video is that there's 5g there, obviously because there's the 5g antenna that's right here as I told you guys in the last video, you guys can tell, maybe. This one is just 4G. I heard some other people say in the comments that the 5G, it's faster for Verizon customers, but I'm not sure. I don't have like another phone carrier, so I can't really t tell you like the speed test or anything. So another comparison, um, if you guys are wanting to buy an Apple case for if you guys have the XS Max or the 11 Pro Max, um, if you want to buy the new cases, it's not going to fit. I'm just saying. Um, just because obviously it's a little bit bigger. And when you put this, oh, that's backwards. And if you put this on, it obviously it tells you the color of your case, which is very, very cute. And I really love that about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry if there's background noise because Giselle is on her Zoom meeting, like I said in the beginning. And because of this whole pandemic, she is at home and I am homeschooling her. Well, obviously not when she's on her Zoom meeting because I'm not going to teach her while she's with her teacher. Does that make sense? I don't know. But anyway, I hope this was kind of informative because I'm not an expert, like I say, and I'm sorry if it's not very informative and this is not what you're looking for. But I'm glad that you stayed through this and I'm glad you guys watched my entire video. Um, if you guys made it this far in the video, comment this emoji. I don't know what emoji am I putting up. Also, if you guys haven't already, follow me on my other social medias. It will be in the description box down below. If you have any questions, come comment them. And I will also do a what's on my iPhone 12 Pro. I know some people ask me to post that video. I will be posting that, but I just haven't done it because I've been a little busy and I am planning vlogmas as well. That's what the papers were in the background if you guys saw that my room was a mess. My laptop and everything. I am planning vlogmas right now and yeah we're like two weeks away from it. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I realize I do a lot with my hands. Like I can't keep my hands down and out of my face and I keep trying to move my hair because my hair keeps getting in my mouth. These are not my phones. Like I said before, these are Kevin's phones. Also, comment down below if you want to see like a comparison video between my iPhone 12 Pro and Kevin's iPhone 12 Pro Max. I don't have three hands so I can't like do all three together since I'm like filming this by myself. The Max versions of all the phones is way too big for my hands so that's why I stick with the smaller version <laughs> of the Pro.